Nigeria as a country operates a constitutional democracy governed by the rule of law. This means that the action of both the governed and those in government are guided and subject to the provisions of the constitution and laws enacted by the legislature. Agencies and institutions of government are also authorized by the constitution to make rules governing their own operations and their interactions with the citizen. The constitution, the laws, rules and regulations therefore govern our democratic order. However, the Nigerian elite at most, if not all levels, operate a regime that runs above the constitution, the laws, the rules and regulations. The behavior of Senator Ali Ndume on his arrival at Nnamdi Azikwe International Airport, Abuja, some months ago, reflects the attitude of the Nigerian politician to the matter of the law. Anyone that will stay, let him stay. Anyone that will stay. Let's turn up for Excuse me, sir. Please go. Just go. You don't need all this again. Please just go. Okay. But if you want to do, fine. But it's not any more. Just go. Okay. Senator Ndume is not alone in operating above the rules and regulations. Last week, operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) invaded the residence of Senator Rochas Okoroncha, a former governor of Imo State, to forcefully arrest him. The former Accountant General of the Federation, Ahmad Idris, on May 16th, was also arrested in Kano. Both public officers had refused to honor the invitation of the EFCC acting above the law and forcing the agency to apply force. You can't fight corruption without transformation you know, of the Nigerian judicial system. Therefore, it has to be transformed. It has to be reviewed. It has to, you know, certain fundamental changes have to take place in the Nigerian judiciary. That's why uh, uh, respect for the rule of law. That's why uh, people in Nigeria will be protected adequately and all criminals uh, you know, uh, punished appropriately in accordance with what they have, the crime they have committed so far in the country. If the president is very active and the president is showing his concern and the president, you know, uh, uh, has paid his or is paying his attention towards this and without any paper of any uh, 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 body whosoever commits any crime in terms of corruption should be dealt with appropriately with the in the accordance of Nigerian law. According to the principles of the rule of law, every citizen is equal before the law. This means that the action of the government must be according to the laws of the land and not according to the whims and caprices or arbitrariness of officials. Political actors are to also abide by the provisions of the constitution and respect the laws of the land. These two members of the Nigerian elite seems to mirror the attitude of their class to things of the law. They are above it and cannot be demeaned by asking them to be accountable. What is the legal implication of their actions? Over the years across the world and in numerous and various jurisdictions, um, it has been proven, and rightly so, that when any person knows that there is consequence or there are consequences for any misconduct or wrong or crime, Definitely, I can tell you that such a person will always be very mindful of engaging in crime or criminality or even civil wrong. However, because of the fact that uh, in our society there has not been consequences for even sometimes the most minimal of offenses, people seem to severally engage in such because that seems to be the order of the day. It is not that we don't have those institutions, but they are very weak fragile 
and uh, seem to tend uh, towards the powers that be. And uh, that is where we have strong personalities or persons as against strong institutions. And that exactly is our uh, point of divergence uh, from uh, uh, other senior societies who have strong institutions so that it doesn't matter who's uh, 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 us is God, it, it, it works naturally, automat automatically, as you might say. But here, it depends on who is in charge. Many politicians of any social weight drive against the traffic, disobey road signs, ignore aviation safety rules, call the bluff of the police, disobey security officials' invitation, and snub the courts. Today, the upwardly mobile Nigerian youth including music stars and actors have an aspiration, if not the ambition, to drive at a social, economic or political standing where they can operate above the law. That will show that they have arrived. Places as simple as uh, traffic, probably you jump traffic, um, definitely you will be 95 to 99 percent be held accountable for that because there are um, automated measures put in place to catch you. And I want to emphasize, we'll catch you wherever you may run to. That's where you say you can run, but you will not hide. They will even come and serve you such uh, 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 in your probably your residence because of their social database. And uh, because of that, most people seem to be very cautious of that. And uh, the senior society seem to have institutionalized the culture of uh, uh, ensuring uh, consequences are borne by persons who commit offenses and crimes. And that is why our people, who even seem to fester in such a um, non-consideration uh, or recklessness, seem to mind themselves when they travel abroad, where this institution, where these uh, consequential um, penalties have been institutionalized, either through automated means or through uh, very responsible um, officers or law enforcement agents. So, so the way to go about it, to ensure that such is replicated in our society, is to institutionalize um, the uh, bearing of uh, consequences or ensuring that consequences of all misconduct, um, offenses, uh, you, you, you know, uh, held, each person is held accountable for that. Once that is done, definitely will be mindful of uh, what we do. Unless the Nigerian elite, including very strategic and successful companies, are made to comply with, obey and operate within the provision of the law, Nigeria as a society could be heading for a situation in which might become rights. Such a situation would be the avenger of chaos and anarchy, which will do nobody any good. In Abuja, Nasir Usman